Right, so in this tutorial we're going to be looking at hand painting a wood texture. So similar to something like this um, uh, this model here. So just one of these kind of wooden wooden pieces. So to start with we need to make a basic box model um, just to serve as our piece of wood. So just make something like that. And then if you open your UV editor and then to unwrap this we'll go to our UVs and we'll try just unfolding this. So just left click and then right click repeatedly on the unfold option here. So let's just see if it's put the faces in the right place. So there's our top face, it's one of our side faces, there's our base and there's our other side. So the only two that aren't done right are these two here. So if we just uh, say select this one and then press the uh, remove the UVs option, just gone out of my head for a split sec, it's that one isn't it? Then press W to go to move mode and you can just pull that one off. And then do the same on this one, so right click face mode, select that face and then either use this one here which is tear off faces or I thought there was another one as well, this one split UVs. Okay then we'll need to rotate this round and select this island here and rotate that round. Then if we hold down the right mouse button and go to edge mode, select that edge, make sure these are the right edges. Like if I select this one and it's lining up with that one, that's not right. You want to make sure that this one lines up with this one. Then if you just use the move and sew UVs and move and sew UVs, there you go, that's the unwrap we want. So we'll scale that down into the window and make sure we're using like as much of the space as possible for this. So something like that. I know there's nothing in this area here but it's only like a um, a demo so you understand how to paint handheld wood. So um, what we'd normally do is obviously have more of the model kind of up here and so on. So if we then go to polygons, UV snapshot, we'll do this at, um, I guess we can keep it 1024 but maybe we'll do it 512. Now we'll do it 1024. Uh, out UV, set this to JPEG. Obviously, this should be your um, project folder, but if it's not, then you can set it to whatever you want. I'm just going to put it into the dungeon render root. You have to make sure you're in object mode before you do this. So, okay. And there we go, we can see that's output it. Okay, so jump to Photoshop and open up that image. Ugh, so many folders on there. And there it is, so we're ready to start with this now. So the first thing we want to do is double click on the background image uh, to turn that into a layer. Add a new layer in and just make this a dark grey. So if you turn this layer off, select layer 1, if you hold Alt and press Delete that will fill in with your foreground colour. If you hold Control and press Delete that will fill in with your background colour. So I'll make that visible again and set this to lighten so we can see our UVs. Um, you could also do image adjustments, invert and set that to multiply and that makes it easier to see I think. <coughs> okay so we're ready to uh, begin painting the wood. So we'll add a new layer and we'll drop that below the, the UVs. And obviously the first thing to do is to come up with a kind of base colour for this. So a nice colour palette to choose from. So maybe we'll go with this kind of brown here um, so we'll initially use this hard round brush here just to get our base colours down I'll make sure I'm painting on the right layer there 
And remember, you're always working diagonally across your uh, color palette. Okay, so it is a good, good step to do this, because um, obviously you can easily uh, colour pick from these colours now. Right, so with your colours laid out, might be a good idea here actually if we just use Control T and rotate this round, stick this here. Why not? It's just a bit easier. So we'll make another new layer and then we'll pick like the default brown for our wood, which will be this one. And to colour pick, I'm just going on pressing B to go to brush mode and then holding Alt, so then you can click on the colour you want. Now remember, we should be using our value brush here. So your value brush should be. First of all, set to shape dynamics with pen pressure turned on and the minimum diameter I've mine set to 40%. And you should have a transfer pasty jitter turned off a set to pen pressure like so. You see the harder I press, the more opaque the um, painting is. Okay, so we're going to start with this top side here. And to start with, we could just literally just, just fill this all the way in with this colour. It's kind of like a base, base set. Um, make another new layer after that. What we're going to do is pick on one of our darker colours here and shrink our brush down, you can use a bracket um, buttons on your keyboard to do that. What we're going to do is create that kind of wood grain effect that we can see on on these. So this kind of uh, wooden kind of grow line things. So to do them, well first of all I'm just going to rotate my image around, I prefer to work vertically. So to do that Come over to here. Hold the left, um, hold the pen down. Go to rotate view. If you hold shift, you can snap it like that. And I just prefer painting kind of vertically like that. Okay. So then, what we want to do is actually start painting these these lines in. So what we'll definitely want to have is a couple of, like at least one knot like that. And I might have my brush a bit thick here. So I'm just going to shrink that down a little bit further.
remember if you're not happy with your lines you can always erase them out with the eraser tool anyway so can be a bit of trial and error till you get a set that you're you're happy with so I think something like that should do So I'm just going to go in now and just tighten all these lines up, just make sure they're all like running to the edges and things like that. And use my eraser tool as well, or you can just carry on using the brush tool and just pick this colour under here and just paint out over any areas where you don't want those lines to go. Okay, so with those lines in place, um, if we just add another layer on top of here, what we're going to start doing is painting the actual wood detail in. So the first thing to do is to think about a kind of highlight to go around this wood. So I'm going to pick something, one of these colours here, maybe this one. and just start painting around the edge of these lines so since this is the kind of highlight line I want to be thinking that I want all my lines to kind of maintain that side and obviously you want this to be a little bit rough and uneven as well And try and make sure you go over the edge of the um, wood line that you painted as well, because that helps to create that illusion of depth. You see it's useful as well not having such a perfect stroke because you get that variety in the thickness Okay, so you can see now we're starting to get that um, that wood grain effect, um, but we still actually have another couple more lines to paint. So I'm just going to make another new layer here. We need to think about putting in this uh, knot effect here. So something like that. So 
So that will probably do for now. It's going to make that a little bit smaller there. And then maybe we could try, well first of all let's put in the, um, the highlight as well on this. So we could try adding something here as well maybe. Maybe I'll paint out this line. And continue that down there instead. And then add the highlight line for this bit here. Okay, so that's the kind of base for our wood text.